Welcome to Excel 2016, Module 5, Part 1. In Module 5, we will be working with Excel tables, pivot tables, and pivot charts. But before we get to that, we are going to look at a feature called Freeze Panes. For me, this is one of the most used features in Excel. I probably use this on almost every single worksheet that I work with. Let's get into the workbook that we will be using for Module 5. This is called June. And it is available from the files that were downloaded from your Q Drive. Once you open up the June workbook, I'd like you to go over to the June, or excuse me, to the sales data worksheet. You can see that there is a lot of data there. And as I scroll down, at one point I will get off the screen and the headers have scrolled off the top and I no longer can see what these columns represent. The same thing will happen if I scroll to the right. Eventually the data will begin to scroll off my window. So if I want to freeze something on this window so that it is always visible, I can excuse me, freeze the items at the top of the screen or at the left. So I'm going to go over to the View tab and you'll notice an option here called Freeze Panes. When I hit the drop down arrow, notice you have two options here. I can freeze the top row or I can freeze the first column. So let's take a look at those. When I freeze the top row, you can see it adds a little darker line. And now as I scroll down, it doesn't matter how far down I go that first top row always stays visible. Now when you freeze top rows, it will freeze the top row as you are looking at that window. So I'm going to unfreeze this. So if I go to freeze pays and unfreeze panes, notice the line went away. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to make that top row disappear. All right, so now with this window viewing, if I choose to freeze panes and freeze the top row, you'll notice it's not row 1, it's row 10 that's going to be frozen. So it's going to freeze whatever you have as the top row when you make that selection. So I'm going to go ahead and unfreeze again. So to remove the freeze option, you click on the freeze panes and unfreeze. If I choose to freeze the first column, I'm going to choose freeze panes and freeze the first column. It will then keep that first column there as I scroll to the right. So let's go ahead and unfreeze that. Now the freeze panes option, it will only do, if I choose freeze top row, it will only choose the top row. If I choose freeze first column, it's only going to do the first column, it's not going to do both of them combined. So what if I need to freeze both a row and a column? So let's say I wanted to freeze the top row and the first column. What I would need to do is I click in the first cell that I want to move. Then I'm going to choose Freeze Panes 
And I'm going to choose this top option that says freeze panes. Notice it created the darker line after the first column and below the first row. So when I start scrolling down, those headings stay there. And if I start scrolling to the right, that column will stay there as well. So that's how your freeze panes function works. If you have a large body of data and you want something to stay visible such as column headings or a row indicator, then you would use this freeze panes option. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and unfreeze those panes. And that concludes part one of our videos.